One in five Americans will develop skin cancer by the age of 70. Having five or more sunburns doubles your risk for melanoma. When detected early, the five-year survival rate for melanoma is 99%. Utah has a high incidence of skin cancers, and to prevent skin cancers, it's best to prevent sunburns. How can we do that? Well, we all know of well-known methods of using sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or more, containing zinc oxide or titanium dioxide to put that layer of barrier between you and the sun, and then to remember to apply it every two to three hours when you're outdoors. We also want to wear protective layering, so clothing that protects your skin, hats and sunglasses are also important. And also to seek shade between 10 to 3 when the sun's rays are the harshest. Some additional techniques that people don't know that can protect your skin is HelioCare. What is it? It is actually a supplement that you can purchase and it's made from a South American plant. So HelioCare is made with this ingredient that is called polyhodium leucotomus. And this has been studied to show that it reduces the amount of erythema or redness that your skin gets. It reduces the amount of sunburns and it can be taken twice a day. It's something that can be purchased on Amazon and it costs about $30. And I find this very useful for people who may be allergic to some sunscreens and they can't put a lot on their face without breaking out in a rash or elsewhere or they need extra protection, say they're on a medicine like isotretinoin or Accutane, and this can be helpful for additional layer. And then if you're going somewhere super sunny for vacation, this can add some protection to your um, sun care routine. Okay. So HelioCare actually works by decreasing the amount of protection in your skin, reducing oxidative damage and damage to your DNA, so it can heal and repair and prevent sunburns. So another good idea to layer some protection is using antioxidants. Antioxidants are applied right after your cleanser in the morning and you just put it on and it does help with the l ascorbic acid and different varieties to minimize the amount of oxidative damage to your skin. There are several different types of antioxidants and it depends on your skin type which one would be best for you. So an older, more mature skin that's dry, something like L-ascorbic acid or vitamin C, E, ferulic by SkinCeuticals, for example, is so a really good one to use. If you're acne and oily prone, there is a Solomarin CF that's great for your skin. For someone who has more greasy skin than still mature skin, but some dark spots, Floritin CF is good. And then there's a couple others that we could recommend depending on your skin type. So again, these are used in the morning and they add a little bit of sun protection to your regimen. So for sunscreens, find the one you love and the one that you use consistently. Most people will choose to use the cream first and that's perfect because the cream gives you more even application. And so you wanna choose a cream that you don't mind wearing every day, even through the winter. And for dry skin, it's helpful to get one that has a built-in moisturizer. The other that's important is tinted sunscreens. They have ferrous oxide and they help protect your skin from visible light. And that will help decrease the amount of aging that your skin sees. Different forms of sprays, I would say powders and um, dab-ons, those are also really good. I find that the sprays and powders are used for reapplication. They're not always consistent in how you apply it, so I always would recommend to my patients that once you put your layer of sunscreen and you're ready for your reapplication in a couple of hours, then use the spray or powder that can be helpful. For kids, I find the stick works really great. It has mostly zinc oxide in it. You can see it when you apply it and you just kind of quickly put it on them and it sticks really well. So I would recommend that for kiddos. In Utah, you get a lot of the dermatologists and other people recommending sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen throughout the year. And why is it so important? It's because we live at elevation. And so the higher you live, the stronger the UV rays. Also, a lot of people love outdoor activities in the winter and the summer. We're at the lake, we're on the mountains, we're hiking. And so those are times that you really need to apply your sunscreen and then reapply it. 